Morning, guys. Hey, morning. Good. Morning. How you doing? Good. So what do you have for us today? I've got the brand new Smith & Wesson EZ380 Shield. Oh, there we go. Sweet. That's a nice gun. I've been looking to shoot that. Yes. That slide is super, super easy to rack. It'd be good for Look new that. shooters. Look at that. Wow. Super easy. Hence the name. Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Brian Kirby here with Take Aim TV. In this video, we're doing a micro review on the new Smith & Wesson M&P Shield 380EZ. Now I think this pistol is going to be perfect for people looking for a handgun for home or personal defense that is easy to manipulate compared to traditional semi-automatic pistols. Let's start with the easy rack slide with front and rear slide serrations. The rear slide serrations protrude from the slide, making it easier to grip while racking. The slide can be easily racked with using two fingers. I think this is perfect for people who usually struggle with racking the slide. On top of the slide is the traditional white three dot sights that are seen on many other M&P style pistols. Now it is easy to acquire a clear sight picture with these sights, but you may want to consider upgrading to night sights if you're going to use this for self defense. The majority of self defense situations happen in low light conditions. To the rear of the ejection port is a tactile loaded chamber indicator. That's a great feature for those who live in less free states that require it, but to me personally, nothing beats a good old fashioned press check. Moving on to the grip, Smith & Wesson went with the grip texture seen on the new 2.0 style pistols and I have to say, I really like it. I think it's a great improvement over the original grip on the shield. I think it's the right amount of texture where it makes it easy to grip, but it's also comfortable to shoot and carry. This next feature has some of the people on social media upset and that is the grip safety. I personally don't have an issue with this feature because it's a hammer fired pistol. Also, the big target audience for this gun is women and a lot of them will be carrying it off body in a purse for example. And whatever safety measures we need to have to make them feel more comfortable, I'm for. The model we shot featured a manual ambidextrous thumb safety. I personally like it because my daily carry features a thumb safety and I'm used to it. Now I did read some reports of people accidentally engaging the safety while shooting. We did not experience any issues like this, and it could have a lot to do with hand size and grip style. The manual thumb safety is optional, so if you don't like that style or you don't want to take the risk, you can go without it. Also, for all you left-handed shooters out there, the mag release is reversible. This magazine has some cool features that's going to make your life a lot easier. A lot of people struggle to load single stack magazines. The Shield EZ mag features a knob secured to the follower that you can lower as you load the rounds to take the pressure off the spring. This made loading mags painless. The magazine included holds 8 rounds plus 1 in the chamber if you carry that way, which by the way, you should be, and psh, you know what, that's for a whole other video. I do like the orange follower as well, it makes it a lot clearer to tell if the magazine is empty. The Shield EZ also features a Pictinia rail where you can mount a light or a laser. Breaking down the Shield EZ is pretty simple, all you have to do is rack the slide, make sure your pistol is clear, lower the takedown lever and then rack it again and the slide will come right off. So it's pretty simple, you don't need to pull the trigger and then the rest of the way it's just like breaking down any other semi-automatic pistol. The trigger was light with a little bit of pre-travel but a nice break. The reset was audible and could be heard and felt while shooting. Now this is no match trigger but it's good enough for self-defense and tight groups. Now we did have one malfunction off camera while shooting, a casing failed to eject, and after inspecting the casing we found that it was an ammo issue, not a pistol issue, but we just wanted to be full disclosure, we did have one malfunction, but like I said, I don't think it was an issue with the gun. Now do I think guys who put over thousands of rounds in their gun a year are going to go rush out and buy this gun? No, but it is a good gun, I think it's going to be great for first time shooters who are looking to protect themselves or their family and refuse to be a victim to evil. <laughs> now I think 380 auto is more than adequate enough for self defense with modern defense rounds to stop a threat. If you disagree with that then most likely this is not the gun for you. I'd like to say special thanks to the firing pain in Bergen, New York for providing us with the Shield EZ for this video. They also provide us with the public range where we did all our testing. Uh, they're a great store and a great public range right there in Bergen, New York. For more information, check them out at firingpinny.com. Hey, thank you so much for watching Take Aim TV. I can't thank you all enough for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Carbon TV and Instagram. Remember, stay aware, carry often, and we'll see you next time.